It's now time for member statements. Recognize the member for Ottawa South. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I rise today to offer prayers and good wishes to Harry Leslie Smith, a 95-year-old historian, campaigner, World War II veteran, lifelong socialist who, as I speak, is critically ill in Belleville, Ontario. Harry's a legend. One of the most eloquent champions of universal free public health care, he's devoted himself to educating younger generations about what life was like before the creation of Britain's National Health Service. Born in Barnsley, Northern England, Harry recalls his childhood when health care was only available for those who could afford it. His sister, like so many others, died from tuberculosis in a workhouse infirmary, too poor to receive treatment. It was Harry's generation who, after winning the war, returned home to win the peace. In Britain and in Canada, we owe so much to those who are determined to build a more caring society where health care is a right for all, not a privilege for the few. In recent years, Harry has urged global action to address the refugee crisis, saying, quote, if we could solve the refugee crisis in 1945, I know we can do it again, as long as we pull together. In 2015, he visited refugee camps in France, and he endured us to open our hearts to them. He asks a speaker to make sure that his past doesn't become our future. We need to honour the future that he and his generation built. So, Harry, please. Get well soon. We're thinking of you. We're with you now more than ever. Thank you to the member for Ottawa Centre. Member statements. The member for Carleton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud to rise today in recognition of two outstanding constituents in the riding of Carleton. Uh, they will be receiving the Order of Ottawa tomorrow night, which uh, celebrates outstanding citizens. The first constituent is Mr. Bernie Ash. Uh, he has enjoyed a long and formidable career as a key community builder in the nation's capital, contributing to its economic growth and making the city of Ottawa a better place to live and work. In his role as Executive Vice President and CEO of the Ottawa Senators Hockey Club from 1990 to 1990, he helped establish the business of hockey and build the Canadian Tire Centre. Mr. Ash helped the Ottawa Sports and Entertainment Group Foundation raise more than $2 million to lower financial barriers and enable youth from all backgrounds to participate in team sports. And the second recipient is Mr. Lawrence Greenspawn. Lawrence Greenspawn is a senior partner at Greenspawn Granger Hill and practices criminal defense and personal injury litigation. He's the only lawyer in Ottawa to be, who is a specialist certified by the Law Society in both criminal and civil litigation. For more than 35 years, Mr. Greenspawn has represented disadvantaged and diverse individuals and groups against governments, police, insurance companies, and corporations. In 1981, the International Year of the Disabled Person, Mr. Greenspawn co-founded REACH, the Resource Education Advocacy Centre for the Handicapped, and was a chair of the board, a member of the organization for more than 10 years. I look forward to congratulating them in person tomorrow night and uh, wish them all the best. Thank you. The member for Thunder Bay, Atacokan. Thank you, Speaker. Today I rise with good news and congratulations. The people of Thunder Bay were pleased to learn that Acting Chief of Police Sylvia Hoth has been appointed Chief of Police of Thunder Bay Police Service. While the service has had its challenges over the years, we welcome this as a new beginning and look forward to her leadership. When Chief Haas's appointment was announced, she said she will lead by three very important principles, accountability, consistency, and transparency. In all that we do, in all that I think, that these are the fundamental principles that will guide my actions towards the safety and well-being of our community for everyone that calls Thunder Bay home. Chief Hoth is the first woman to hold the post of Chief of Police in Thunder Bay, and I was so excited to congratulate her Tuesday afternoon on her promotion. Chief Hoth joined the police service 25 years ago, and she brings a wealth of experience to her position. She has accomplished many firsts. First woman to be inspector with the service, first woman to be deputy chief, and she can now add chief of police to her list of accomplishments. I was privileged to be in attendance at Chief House swearing-in ceremony on Tuesday. It, went a, it was an honour to give her my best personal best wishes. I would like to take this opportunity again to congratulate Chief Hoth. I look forward to working together with her 
as she makes improvements to Thunder Bay Police Service. Thank you. Thank you. Member Statements. The member for Etobicoke Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I recently had the pleasure of touring the Connectrix facility in Etobicoke with my colleague, the member from Etobicoke Lakeshore. Connectrix is a leading testing, inspection, certification, and consulting company with over 25 unique lab and testing facilities. With over 100 years of experience, Connectrix is helping Ontario and its nuclear industry continue to contribute to good jobs in the province. During the tour, I saw firsthand the innovation at Connectrix state-of-the-art lab where they test and engineer low-inventory distillation technology for radioisotope production. Last month, Connectrix and Bruce Power announced that they have entered into a memorandum of understanding to collaborate in the production of medical isotopes and further promote Ontario's role as a world leader in this innovative field of medical treatment. Companies like Connectrix, Bruce Power and others are showing leadership to ensure Canada and Ontario remain at the forefront of radioisotope production. Ontario's nuclear advantage will have a significant positive impact on human health across the globe, keeping our air clean and safe while expanding Canada's leadership role in some of the most exciting and innovative areas of science and healthcare. Partnership, partnerships between these companies will also contribute to Ontario's economy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. The member for Hamilton West and Custer Dundas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to share an issue that is critical for many of my constituents in the riding of Hamilton West and Custer Dundas, and that, Mr. Speaker, is home care. I receive daily emails and phone calls from constituents sharing their many serious concerns regarding the care of their loved ones at home. Far too many patients are being neglected and left with insufficient care. Caregiving for our loved ones can be physically and mentally overwhelming, and unfortunately, it can also be a significant financial burden. One constituent paid over $4,000 in just 10 days out of their own pocket to an outside agency just to ensure their father was able to receive the care that he was assessed for. Another constituent writes of their mother's care, reporting over 20 missed visits, 20 communication issues, and over 21 different PSWs, all within the last five months of their mother's life. The last Conservative government made deep cuts to health care and frontline service, and in 15 years, the Liberals did very little to make it better. Mr. Speaker, this government's recent announcement of 3.2 billion cuts will do nothing Zero. to help our seniors and will only make a clearly strained and unfunded system much worse. Our parents and our grandparents deserve a government that protects their safety, their health and their dignity. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member Statements. The member for Brantford, Brant. Thank you, Speaker. I rise today to bring attention to an important event taking place in the riding of Brantford, Brant. After much anticipation, the new Laurier Brantford, Brant YMCA opened its doors on September 14, 2018. This innovative partnership between Wilfrid Laurier University and the YMCA of Hamilton, Burlington, Brantford expands athletic opportunities for students at the Brantford campus, supports campus growth, enhances broader community access to health, wellness, and social supports, and further bolsters the revitalization of the city's core. The facility's official grand opening celebration will take place on Saturday, December 1st. The facility's distinctive design earned architectural firm Canon Design an award of excellence from Architect Magazine. Speaker, here are a few of the amenities in this 120,000 square foot facility. An aquatic center with two tank pool for lane swimming, swimming lessons, aquatic fitness and therapy, plus an on-deck hot tub for teaching, fitness, therapy and leisure. A youth zone for recreational, social and leadership development programs. A double gym designed for sports and competition with retractable stadium seating for 860 people, plus taping and first aid room for event athletic therapists. A single gym for drop-in sports and larger programs. A fitness center. 
health intake consultation rooms for specialized community-based health care programs in partnership with Hamilton Health Sciences and the Brant Community Health Care System. Speaker, this facility will serve the residents of Brantford, Brant County, and Six Nations, the post-secondary institutions in the community, including Laurier and Conestoga College, and other visitors. Thank you. Member Statements, the member for Essex. Thank you very much, Speaker. I'm rising today to offer my congratulations and gratitude to two leaders in my riding who are retiring after many years of service. LaSalle Mayor uh, Kenantea served 13 years as the town's deputy clerk and clerk. He worked as the CEO in Colchester South and another five years before returning to the town of LaSalle, where he assumed the role of CAO for the next 17 years. Ken retired as CEO in 2004, and in 2010, ran for mayor of LaSalle. He was re-elected in 2014. Ken spent his entire working life in service in the public at the town of LaSalle, and we have benefited greatly from his involvement and dedication in public service. The town of LaSalle has seen tremendous growth and change during Ken's tenure. Te Ken, Ken's leadership has been critical to building a culture of civic engagement and responsible government at the municipal level. Ron Tout McDermott was first elected as mayor of Essex in 2003 and has served for 13 years. Tout has also spent his life engaged and active in his community. He's volunteered as a local baseball manager and was involved in local horse racing. He committed himself to public service and leaves a legacy of reaching out across political lines to improve the lives of his constituents and has been a reliable friend and colleague. Tout is a leader by example, making himself accessible to the public and representing uh, in a fostered legacy of co cooperation and putting his community first. Speaker, it is my pleasure and my honour to say thank you and congratulations to both of these gentlemen and to offer my best wishes to Tout and Ken. Enjoy your retirement and thank you very much for your service to our communities. Thank you very much. Member statements, the member for Richmond Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am proud to inform everyone in this House that Ontario is open for business is not just a slogan nor a display sign. It is business development in action. The Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade is taking every opportunity to promote business and attract investments in Ontario. Since 2003, China has emerged as Canada's second largest trading partner and is Canada's third largest export market. I was asked by the ministry to organize a business roundtable in my riding of Richmond Hill. I have to promote the Canada-China trade while we're also promoting the trade to the U.S. On November the 8th, I organized a roundtable gathering 15 board chairs and 20 business leaders from various Chinese business associations representing Beijing, Shanghai, Jiangsu, Hebei, Qijiang, Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, and China Council for the Promotion of International Trade. Wow. Great job, Dave. Thank you. The participants will be the trade bridge for our future development, which is the most important thing. We discuss ways to reduce barriers, cutting red, trade, uh, red tape, identifying ways to, in, to attract foreign investors, and as well as in, increase the export from Ontario. I'm looking forward to a positive results. All participants are, participants are very enthusiastic about it. However, Mr. Speaker, I would like to personally thank Minister Todd Smith. Even though he's only three days on this job, he is already he is making this event a very successful event with parliamentary assistant. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Member statements. Point of order, the Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. <laughs> Member statements? Member for Durham. Every 
Every day, thousands of residents from my riding of Durham commute to work in and around the GTA. As our community continues to grow, the demand for better transportation networks has increased. Unfortunately, for 15 years under the last Liberal government, my constituents were left waiting, waiting for transit and waiting in traffic. During the election campaign, I heard every day that people were tired of the waiting and wanted a government that made their concerns a priority. That's why I'm so pleased that our government for the people is committed to expanding GO Train service to Bowmanville in Durham. We've committed to delivering two-way, all-day service expansions, which means no longer will commuters be forced to transfer from the GO Train in Oshawa to connecting bus services. Commuters will be able to enter the GO Train at any station on the Lakeshore East Line and remain there until their home in Durham. Commute times will go down and my constituents will be able to spend more time with their families. Speaker, I know that the people in my riding work hard, and I'm so proud to be part of a government that continues to make the concerns of commuters and other hardworking Ontarians a priority. And to my constituents in Durham, I'll see you on the go. Thank you very much. Reports by committees.